that's baking day today so I'm up early and I'll first start by checking my dough balls that I prepared yesterday they're on the fridge here and they're looking pretty good I'll leave them in the fridge a little bit longer I think and in the meantime I'll be off for a bike ride when I'm making pizzas I always start the dough a couple of days early then let it sit and then the second day I make them into balls put them in the refrigerator to this point and then come to bake them a little bit later in the morning and today I'm going to make some small dinner rolls as well because it's always good to have more than just pizzas when I'm firing up the wood oven we are back home again it's time for a shower it's a breakfast First I'll get the oven cleaned out and get the fire started. Hey boy, how you doing? Good morning, good morning. Getting the fire going takes a little bit of time. I usually don't clean it out afterward. I leave it till just before I'm starting to use it again. It kind of helps keep the critters and the lizards and the snakes out of it because it's a nice warm dry spot. So leaving the ash there just makes it a little less attractive. Took me a bit of time, a bit of effort to get the fire started today because everything is so damp and I didn't have any of our kindling wood that I usually use. Now onto having some breakfast, just the normal coffee, some eggs, some toast with some homemade chutney. A good start to the day. This is my typical breakfast. This is homemade bread but this one was made in the bread maker just for convenience sake. With a belly full of food and a good coffee in me, it's time to check the fire again. It's looking good, add some more fuel to it and just keep checking it from time to time. For getting the wood oven really up to heat, it pays to do it a step at a time and just heat it slowly and slowly get it hotter and hotter and hotter. And while I'm doing this, I'll head back into the kitchen and start mixing the dough for the bread rolls that I'm making. So this is just an adapted recipe, I've not tried it before, but it's one that is in a book that I've got and I am making a mix of white and wholemeal flour. I just warm water, put the yeast in it, let that sit for a minute or two and then mix it in, let it dissolve, give it a bit of a stir. And then crack an egg into it, mix that up and then add some sugar to it, some raw sugar, mix that in there, get that all looking smooth and then add some wholemeal flour, this was one and a quarter cups of wholemeal, stir that in really well, quite a sloppy mix at this stage, get it all looking good and then add the white flour. So I'll add two cups of white bread flour and then half a teaspoon of salt. Get that mixed in really well. Just gently, gently mixing it in. And then scrape it down, scrape out the bowl and turn it out onto my bench. And then slap and fold it as well. It's a good technique to help keep a good amount of air in the bread. And then just pull it round into a ball and let it sit for a while. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to have a crack at making a sourdough starter so I can get into making sourdough breads. I'll start by making one with white flour, so 50 grams of white flour, 50 grams of water, mix it together and I'll do the same with rye flour, so I've got a couple of different starters to work with. Adding 50 grams of white flour, 50 grams of rye flour to two separate jars because I want to have two different mixes. I want to try this and uh, I do love a good rye loaf so I'm going to try a rye sourdough starter as well as a white sourdough starter. 
and with this I'll be yeah just again experimenting with loaves of bread with buns and of course with pizza I've been looking at sourdough pizza online and it looks pretty cool I don't think I've ever eaten it but the idea of a sourdough pizza really appeals to me So let that set and then back down to the oven to check it again it's looking pretty good it's feeling pretty hot just add a bit more wood to it and close it up again and then come back to my loaf and then I'll continue to knead this ball of dough and slap it a bit fold it and just set it in my bowl That's feeling quite nice now, so I'll just let it sit here and proof for half an hour or 45 minutes and come back to it. And while I'm waiting for that, I'll get everything else we need ready for cooking the pizza dough. And of course, go and check my fire again. It's getting pretty hot now, it's looking really good. I've closed the holes in the back. We've got a ventilation and cleaning gap at the back of the oven, and so that's closed up now to help retain the heat. So my dough for the bread rolls is looking good. Now I just have to weigh it and calculate the weight to make eight bread rolls because my tray has got eight slots in it. So I just divide these up, it was around 93 grams per bun. Weigh those up and then shape them into a ball, shape them into a bit of an oblong bun shape and then pop them into the tray. It's a new tray, I haven't used it before so I was a little curious as to how it will work out and it was impressive, it was very easy to use. I've never used silicon in the oven before but it stood up to it, no problem at all. It always seems a bit weird putting something floppy and plasticky in an oven. This managed the heat very well and nothing stuck to it. So just taking my time and then add a little bit of flour to these trays. It probably didn't need it, but I wasn't sure. So it just pays to be safe rather than having bread stick to it and not come out cleanly after it's baked. So I thought it would pay just to add a little flour to it and not risk it sticking in the tray. So the oven's now hot enough, so it's time to start making the pizza bases. We're making them at about 10 inches and this time just doing it by hand. Previously I've been using a rolling pin but I wanted to see if I could do it just by hand and if this would help them be a little bit more airy, a little bit more light. And it did, it's worked quite well. So they're looking nice, the first few out there and just continuing to work together. My wife and I make a good team doing this, it's always great. I can do it by myself but it's fabulous to have her helping me. We managed to get through it really well and it's really good to have one of us paying attention to each pizza base as it's cooking. And then once they're done I'll just put the door back on the oven and go inside and get the buns. I usually let the oven cool down a little bit before I put the bread in. These buns have been proofing for about 40 minutes now, so let's have a look to see what I like. And I think they're ready to go in the oven. These little bread rolls had risen quite a lot, so I needed to get them in the oven. I didn't want them to keep growing and growing. Well, we've finished the baking and the pizza bases look pretty good. These are now ready to go into the freezer and we'll serve those when we have customers who order pizza from us or we'll eat them ourselves. And my little buns turned out okay, except some of them are a little burnt. I think the uh, oven temperature was a little bit too hot, but this is part of the fun of cooking with a wood-fired oven is that you've just got to get a feel for it and I am still practicing. But as always the proof is in what the bread looks like so now that I've cooled down a bit let's open one up. Crust feels pretty good and oh that looks good to me. Smells fantastic. A little bit of honey on there and it should be perfect. 
So I'll keep uh, practicing and I'll keep sharing what I'm doing with the pizza oven and with baking bread. As I mentioned earlier, I've started a couple of sourdough starters. So this is going to be another whole fun experiment to work with with our wood-fired oven. Not only pizzas and bread, but we'll get into baking all kinds of other things. If you're new to our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you'd like to see some more videos about what we're doing here in Northern Thailand, check out this link here and it will give you a bigger picture of what life is like here in Northern Thailand. Thanks very much for watching.